it's a wonderful thing. Uh, it's cold out here, that's, where, that's one thing. I said, uh, I'm glad to be here, that's all. With all these Tuskegee yeah, man, uh, it's, it's nice to see them all. ourselves to the hope, the vision, the unity, and the renewed call to greatness inspired by the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. I'm Stan Watson, Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Air Force, retired. And our great aim, once we got to Tuskegee, was don't let the people down. Don't let the black people in America down. You have to make it. You have to do it. When we came back, the segregation was still there. The uh, bigotry in the military was still there. I was flying number two position. I flew Harry and Harry Truman. I flew in that one. That was Harry Truman, uh, the one that issued the executive order that ended the segregation. I flew down Pennsylvania. I, I flew down. Now I'm trying to walk down Pennsylvania, and I'm catching hell doing that. <laughs> Getting to this inauguration well, is just as bad as the toughest mission I ever flew. Every, the final leg, the road to the White House. The impact of what the Tuskegee Airmen have done, especially for this country, and to be represented there, it's, 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 it's amazing. And it's definitely, I'm glad that Mr. Watson, as well as some of his fellow airmen, are still alive to go and attend. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. And nice to see a new America. That's the thing, we got a new America. And that's what we're here for. And we're Did you ever think you would live to see a black man become president of the United States? That was so far-fetched. I never did entertain <laughs> the idea that it would occur. I would hope that we were going in that direction, but there were so many other pro immediate problems that you needed, whether you ever got a president, that, well, that was far-fetched. But right now, look at it. All white America has changed over and want to see the magic of this black man to fix our country. So that's great. Oh, I didn't think, it, I didn't have any idea that I would ever see such an uh, event come off in the United States. But I want to go down here and see and see this thing through. <laughs> so. Men and women and children of every race and every faith can join in celebration across this magnificent mall. Why a man whose father less than 60 years ago might not have been served at a local restaurant <laughs> can now stand before you and take the most sacred oath. <laughs> Let us mark this day in remembrance.